Hey, this is Alex Power and today I'm going to tell you how to write a title in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017 using Essential Graphics. If you're still old fashioned and you want to use an old title, you can still do that by pressing Ctrl T and it will bring you an old title. Uh, they call it legacy title and you know it, everything looks the same like it w used to be or you can simply go to file new legacy title right here on the top and it will bring you to the same window but the new way it's much more interesting and exciting and has much more opportunities and saves you time so if you pay attention there is a graphic tab here where's all the tabs here editing color effects you go to the graphic tab and it will bring you to this window here and you can just use an existing one by pressing on one of the presets that Adobe made for you. Drag and drop this onto a timeline. It will take a little while to load and voila, it's right there. You can use this type of title or you can go and use, if you want to create like a low search, there's lots of presets you can play with this all day. If you want to create a new title, you go to this tab, edit here, you press this text. If you pay attention, this one, you press a V button on your keyboard, which equivalent to a select tool, or you just do a select tool here. You can drag this around the screen and you can do lots of things with that. But if you want to write it, even it's selected, you can, can't really write on it. So, um, in order to write inside here, you need to select this uh, by pressing letter T right here, type tool. You're just selecting this thing and then you can type a new message here. Let's say, let's type Alex Power, my name, okay? And we will go to um, these two little buttons here. You can center it horizontally and vertically. You can do same thing you did before, make it larger, change the position the way you want it, and it's pretty cool. Let's say I want to put rectangle in a different color behind my name. What do I do? I just go here, back to edit, create rectangle. Again, I select this rectangle, Put select tool again and I can move this around. I can stretch this the way I want. Let's say I want it this way. And I will drag this shape, which is a rectangle. It can be any shape. So Alex Power will be on top and the shape would be on the bottom. There's two titles I accidentally created. In order to erase them, you just go select this and press delete. That's the way it works. If you're used to the old style, usually before I was going here, creating a new item, but you can't find a title here. That's pretty cool. You can animate this. You can do lots of all, all sorts of different things with that. But that's how you do a title right now. Okay, and that would be it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, drop a comment, and press this bell notification button that you won't miss any of the future videos that I release on this channel. See you next time.